Yo, Hebrew's all math. It's all numbers. You know that? Yeah, look. See, the ancient Jews used Hebrew as their numerical system. Eh? Each letter's a number. Like the Hebrew A, Aleph, it's one. B, Bet, it's two. You understand? But look at this. The numbers are interrelated. Like, take the Hebrew word for father. Av, Aleph, Bet. One, two, equals three. All right? Hebrew word for mother, aim, aleph, mem, 140 equals 41. Sum of three and 41, 44. All right? Now, Hebrew word for child, all right? Mother, father, child, yelled. That's 10, 30, and four, 44. Torah is just a long string of numbers. Some say that it's a code sent to us from God. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's just kid stuff. Check this out, okay? The word for the Garden of Eden, Kadem. Numerical translation, 144. Now, the value of tree of knowledge, all right, in the garden, right? Eitzachayim, 233. 144, 233. And you can those take those numbers. numbers. So, the... You know, like the Fibonacci sequence? Fibonacci. Fibonacci is um, an Italian mathematician in the 13th century. If you divide 144 into 233, the result approaches um, theta. Theta? Theta. The Greek symbol for the golden ratio, the golden spiral. Wow. I never saw that before. Just like that series you find in nature? Like the face of a sunflower? Wherever the spirals. You see this math everywhere.